Okay guys, so you have an RTX 3090, but it's running a bit too loud, a bit too hot, or you simply want more performance and more stable 1% lows. Well, this is the right video for you. Let's get into 100 volt in it straight away. Okay, so for the tutorial you will need Heaven Benchmark, which is the thing running in the background, open for the whole duration, and then MS Afterburner. Both will be linked down in the description. Now, usually when I do this kind of 100 volt tutorial, I just give presets, but you, you have a 3019, that's an expensive card, so you will spend a bit of more time learning how to do this properly. So, first of all, you will need to open this one up and unlock voltage monitoring and voltage control, then hit OK, hit Apply, then close it up, and now you will see how many millivolt your card is running at. At this point, the sweet spot for this kind of cards for every RTX 3090 in existence, okay, doesn't matter what model, what custom, etc., is 850 millivolt and 800 sorry it's 850 millivolt and 1850 megahertz okay so here's how you set it so first of all you unlock the power limit to the maximum okay this is not going to increase your power it's just going to increase the amount to which the card can boost so unlock it okay now you open up the curve editor right there you go on core clock you give it minus 250 you hit enter but you do not hit apply. And now you go over here, you grab the 850 millivolt voltage point and you bring it all the way up to 1850. Right there, now you hit apply. Tutorial finished, okay? If you wanna just copy this without knowing why, copy it, you're gonna get slightly better performance, much better 1% low and a huge drop in power consumption and in temperatures, okay? Huge, but since you have an expensive card, if you want to spend the extra time to learn how to do this even better, now we'll show you. Okay, so how this works is the lower the voltage, the lower the temperature, and so the lower the power consumption. But higher the, the frequency, you see, on the y-axis, the better the performance. So you can actually find if your card can go a bit higher. So for example, you might want to try minus 250, 850 millivolt voltage point but you want to try 1900 maybe you have a lucky card and 1900 will work so you can just do that again minus 250 grab the voltage point bring it up hit apply and this might work and for example for me it works so this is better so try it out but you have to test it in game to see if it is actually stable uh, if you want just copy my settings 850 1850 and you're good but let's say you have a mini itx build and you want even lower temperature is it doable well obviously yes so how you do this is you hit minus 250 but you grab a lower voltage point okay so if you go too low your memory will drop so you need to get a voltage point that is low but not too low so what i do recommend is 775 at around 1700 megahertz roughly you have to test this out for yourself hit apply and as you can see we are now running at just 775 millivolt but with the ram at full speed and with a slight underclock of 100 megahertz by compared to stock and we're getting a massive reduction in power draw and temperature you see this can also be done upwards so let's say you have a water cooled card you don't care at all about temperature or power consumption you just want to get higher performance and you don't want your car to go up and down as it does a stock well you might want to try the 900 millivolt voltage point so for example if we go here and we give it minus 250 and then we grab the 900 millivolt voltage point on some cards you might be able to get as high as 2000 so you might want to try that out as you can see on mine 950 is around the maximum it can do uh, if i go higher it will eventually crash now we'll show you a crash because if a crash happens you just have to reset no need to worry so look for example okay now you can see it's not bo boosting as high it's going up and down because it's hitting power limits so this is a problem but if i go too high it crashes and so i need to reset or it might not let me reset now everything crashed if everything crashes as it happened right now. No worries, the screen will go black, that's me by the way, 
and then it will come back and you just need to reset it and it's going to be fine the card is not going to be damaged so you don't have to worry so if you've seen this this far good job because now you are safe uh, in this case, we need to reboot the PC. I will just quickly do it. But basically, if you've seen this tutorial so far, please drop a like and a sub. I also have an undervolting and overclocking tutorial for you guys on the channel for different CPUs, different GPUs. You might want to check it out. And I also do very different builds. And as you can see, the PC is working again, so no need to worry. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.